uh, the morning of, of January 13th. So the afternoon of January 20th, you've got uh, all sorts of reports of unusual activity in the town of Virginia. You're getting reports of weird, strange creatures. Uh, nobody said ET. It was like, what the hell are these creatures? Um, the Cold fire department was called. Uh, it was five days. Wow. About five days, yeah. And the distance, I think the distance between the crash and the sighting in the town of Virginia is somewhere in the realm of 12 to 15 miles. Whoa. Something like that. And so uh, you're getting these reports. Uh, the most compelling reports came from, civilian reports, came from three girls. It was uh, Katya, Liliani, mm -hmm. and uh, Valkyria. And Valkyria and Liliani are two sisters. And then Katya was a little older. She's 21. And it was like 14 and 16. And they were uh, going through a little field on the outskirts of town, but in the town. And they saw this creature in broad daylight. I think it was like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, crouched against a... a, 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 a um, cinder block wall and we're like you know looking at this thing like what the heck are we looking at here and it had it was it was weak it had spindly arms and legs it had like a brown oily skin almost like a kidney or something do you know what I mean like mm -hmm. it was like an exposed organ and it had and, and they they shrieked when they looked at it and then it turned and made eye contact Two of the girls, I think it was Liliani and Valkyria, took off and Katya got completely mesmerized by making eye contact with it. There was some level of communication that was happening. And Katya was kind of frozen in her tracks. She was about eight feet, maybe ten feet away from it. And um, and it was it was feeble, it was scared, according to Katya. Uh, it wanted help. Uh, like, get me out of here kind of thing. Help, according to Katya. <clears throat> the other two girls got, I don't know, 50 or 70 feet away. And were like, where's Katya? We got to go back and get Katya. And they ran back. I think it was Liliani. Ran back and grabbed Katya and broke her stare and yanked her out of there. And then they, um, uh, they reported they went running home to their mother. And they were like, telling her what you know and they thought it was something of the devil like it was a devil or something did she say did she say anything about any kind of communication between yeah. the being and her like yeah well telepathically? i asked her about that yeah because i said this is where the title came from i said and i didn't even realize this at the time i said because i wanted to know i know it was very brief it was probably just a couple of seconds but a lot can happen in that moment in a couple of seconds time slows down right and you kind of get you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, uh, so I said, during that moment of contact, was there any level of communication? If so, what was said? What did you feel? And she says there was obviously no words or anything, but it was like, I'm scared, I'm weak, I'm scared, and I need help. That was what she got. And Katya was, was staying behind, and Liliani and Valkyria ran back and grabbed her. Katya was the oldest. She was 21. And so... Um, they run back to their the mother's house, the two sisters with Katya, and the mother says, "We're gonna let's go back." And then the two sisters weren't didn't want to go, so that she went back with Katya, who was the oldest one. So the mother went back, and they found a footprint where it was, and a, and a just the strongest smell of like ammonia. Just they said the smell was just like paralyzing, like hundred thousand times worse than a skunk. Just the smell. Um. I had somebody say to me that seemed to be in a position to know, but I don't know, it could be complete speculation because everybody had talked about the smell of this thing, that when when certain creatures get scared, they have this, um, they excrete something that, that can uh, protect them or paralyze those around them to protect, do you know what I mean? Like a skunk does. Mm. And that, that a lot of people thought that that's what these creatures did. They said it was like a sulfur mixed with ammonia. Like sulfur ammonia. They said it was the worst. Like it was just paralyzingly bad. Like and it was in your low. It was in your nose for like a week. Yeah, everybody talked about that. So, in any case, 
So the mother, uh, I don't know if I'm going into too detail, the mother went back and smelled the smell and saw the footprint of, you know, this weird creature, which I actually have a drawing of the footprint if you want to see it. Yeah, yeah. Um, they drew the pictures, of, or they had an artist do a rendition of, uh, from, from their description. No, the mother actually drew the footprint for me right there on the spot. Let's see if I have it here. Watch me not have it. <laughs> I saw it last night when I was going through these. Yeah, I think it's in there. Okay, here we go. This could be it. But it's basically like two digits, like two digits like this with one appendage that looks like it maybe comes out when it's trying to be by when it's standing up. And when it's not standing up, it looks like this kind of like so it can walk. Right. Um, I'll, I'll keep discreetly looking here. You guys. That's right there. Ah, there it is. Boom. Wow. Okay. Yep. Good. Good. Eye. So kind of a round, a round paw with three long fingers. This is exactly where, if you can see that. Hold it back, back behind the mic, right there. Yeah. Okay. So this is exactly where the encounter. This is exactly where the encounter took place, and these are the three witnesses. That's Katya, Valkyria, and Liliani. And his exact location. And this photograph was taken in 1996. Right after that. Right after it yes. happened. Uh-huh. And then you've got... Here, hold this up uh, by the microphone real you, quick. You so got you see the, the, the footprint. That was the, that was the yeah. footprint of the creature. And then the mm -hmm. mother who saw the footprint right. drew this higher. for me. A little bit higher. There you go. Perfect. Yeah. Crazy. Drew that for me. And a lot of witnesses I talked to had seen the foot in the hospital. So... um Later that day, only a few blocks away, there were two military officers on patrol. Nobody was talking E.T., okay? Nobody had mentioned E.T. The girls thought it was the devil. They were very religious. Right. The mother didn't know what, you know, the girls saw. Um, later on that day, two military officers, Eric Lopes and this guy named Marco Cherizzi, and when you're in the police, it's like the fire department's part of the military. The police is part of the military, military police. So these two officers were on patrol looking for something unusual. They didn't say a UFO crash and there was ET walking around. Right. So they're driving around and they're just a couple blocks away and it's around 5.30 p.m. They're a couple blocks away from where the girls encountered. And by the way, I talked to a lot of people that had that, that area uh, of... Virginia completely cordoned off by the military, like military blockades all around there. And I talked to a lot of, I have them on camera, but they were armed and like, you're not walking one step further, including the local news outlets. I interviewed them as well. So they cordoned off the area that I'm, that I'm talking about right now. And that's where the girls had the encounter and two blocks away at five 30 were military officers, Marco Cherizzi and Eric Lopes saw this creature run across the road in front of them. <laughs>